919fm.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919FM, and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, some income assistance program checks remain uncollected. Wasa assures its pipeline water is safe for consumption. Red Cross offers free health care to the public, and internationally oil prices soar to highest levels since 2008 amid Ukraine conflict. And now the news in detail. At least 18 people who applied for government's COVID-19 income assistance program have not collected their checks to date. This was revealed by Planning Minister Camille robinson Regis. She said the figure accumulated came from phases one and two of the program, which formed part of the measures implemented by government in a bid to assist those affected financially or otherwise as a result of COVID-19 lockdown measures. Robinson Rigi said the figure comprises of 65 uncollected checks related to Phase 1 and 19 related to Phase 2. She stated that advertisements were placed on the ministry's social media pages, website and in print media with the details of the outstanding recipients as well as the time period for collection. The minister indicated that after a period of time, the checks will become stale dated. The Water and Sewage Authority has launched an investigation into claims that drinking the pipeline water it supplies may result in illness. Wasa dismissed the allegations made in an audio recording currently in circulation. The water company in a statement said that the water supply is safe for consumption. It said the claims are both false and speculative as it's not supported by any scientific testing of the water quality. Wasa said it performs ongoing sampling and testing of the water it produces. Meanwhile, Wasa has indicated that a senior team from the authority met with Kuva South MP Rujanath Indar Singh and residents after they complained of a lack of a proper water supply. In a release, Wasa said production at the Freeport Water Treatment Plant is 2.6 million gallons per day, while the demand for the area is estimated at 3.5 gallons per day. Consequently, it said reduced production at the Karani facility due to the effects of the dry season has impacted this supplemental supply. Wasa says several measures were outlined, some of which are already in action and included plans that will bolster the supply from the Freeport plant, leading to an improved service to customers in the area. Also, hours after blocking the streets of Castara in Tobago to stage a protest, disgruntled residents of the small coastal village had their water supply turned on. On Monday, during the pre-dawn hours, villagers blocked several areas of the north side road, demanding that the Water and Sewage Authority give them a regular supply. The community had been without water for a week. Villagers said the lack of water was chasing away the handful of tourists trickling in to Castara. Meanwhile, the TAJ Chief Secretary explained the TAJ does not deliver truck-borne water unlike regional bodies in Trinidad, and Wasa undertakes all water trucking operations on the island. He said he had been appealing to Wasa for the past three weeks to have the service restored. The TNT Red Cross Society started a free health clinic open to the public every Thursday. This is to help with the burden put on the healthcare system during the pandemic, even with government's COVID-19 response. President of the Red Cross says it is a place that serves everyone, and it doesn't matter where you are from, the type of community you come from, all is welcomed. The free clinic is located at number 7A Fitzblackman Drive, Port of Spain, and the TNT Red Cross Society can be contacted at 627-8215. Finally, on the international scene, petrol prices have hit another record high as oil and gas costs soar amid fears of a global economic shock from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 
Oil prices jumped to $139 a barrel, the highest level for almost 14 years, while wholesale gas prices for next day delivery more than doubled. It came as the U.S. hinted at a ban on buying Russian energy as it looked to other countries to increase supplies. Analysts have already warned that UK energy bills could reach as high as £3,000 a year due to the surge in oil and gas prices. Russia is the world's second top producer of crude oil after Saudi Arabia and supplies about a third of Europe's needs. The latest rise in UK petrol prices has pushed the cost to more than £7 a gallon. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, some income assistance program checks remain uncollected. WASA assures its pipe on water is safe for consumption. Red Cross offers free health care to the public, and internationally oil prices soar to highest levels since 2008 amid Ukraine conflict. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas.